Hi Ducky, can you show me a little bit about your process? Yes, of course. Um, well, this is screen printing, and this particular type of screen printing is called photographic screen printing. And the reason for that is that you um, collect your image, whatever it is you wish to print, and I, I've printed here a sort of a series of a field. Um, here's the original photograph, is here. And in order to be able to get this to reproduce, you place, you want to get a, um, a transparency from it. So you get a transparency made of the photograph. The idea for that is um, that light can pass through the image. So here, which is what screen printing is all about, here is the aforesaid screen. This has already got the image on it. And what we do, we would do with that is this screen, the inside of this screen, is coated with a light sensitive emulsion. You then pop your image onto it and it goes into a UV light box, which sucks it all down as well to keep as much light out of the image as possible, to get as true an image as you can. This goes into the light box and then when you take it out, you wash the screen and wherever um, the light hasn't been able to penetrate, i.e. where the image is, it doesn't, the emulsion doesn't set on the screen. So, when you've got this and you put your inks, which are these, these are acrylic paints mixed with um, a binder, which is purely for screen printing. You have one type of binder for paper, you can also do this on fabrics, which is probably the thing I like doing best. So anyway, you place your, and it would have been um, grey, you pop your piece of paper underneath. Oh, and the joy of this type of screen printing is you don't have quite the same problems of registration that you do have in other printing methods. So your paper, I've already got it printed on here, goes underneath, you've printed it onto a piece of c plastic, and then you can decide exactly whereabouts on the paper you want to print. Not so important when you're just printing the image, so that would have been done with grey. I'm not going to get that all out, but you just dollop it on and then you pull a colour, lovely sound that makes, through your screen and you will then get the image appearing on the paper. If with this, as with this one, you want to get some colour into it, you'd put the colour on first. So, um, you would need to get the image onto some paper that you don't mind cutting up. This is newsprint. Printmakers use newsprint paper a lot. And you print it onto there and then you start, you cut out to make a paper stencil. You then pop your paper stencil over the screen, lay it back down again, put the ink where you wanted it. So if I wanted the green section, I'd just be printing the bottom in green. And so that's how you build up. That's got three colours on it. It's got the liney green, it's got the deep blue, and then in the middle, it's got a slightly more broken feel with um, this, I don't know what you'd call that really, it's a putty, odour nearly kind of colour. And in this instance, I didn't want it complete solid colour base, so I used another transparency, which I had on another screen for another piece of group of work. And then that was just printed onto the paper separately. So that would have come, so that would have come through there like that. And you can, as I say, that is made up of one, two, three colours, and then the original image 